Hey, Robert. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. It's so great to meet you via Zoom. I would much prefer to sit in a cafe with you in New York, but this will have to do. <laughs> and, and now I want a croissant. See, and now I want one too. Oh my God. Anyway, but you're all set. You're drinking away. That's all good. Um, all right. First of all, congratulations on the success of this series. Can you, you even believe when it dropped last weekend, like the responses that it's been getting? I mean, it's been so amazing. I was totally uh, in my own little head, in my own little space, not even expecting anything to come. You know, I knew obviously it's Netflix, right? It's a huge platform. It's gonna be this major moment, but I just kept telling myself, okay, put it in this pocket to the side. You've got work to do, you've got things happening. And then, you know, the 14th comes and bam, your life is very different than it was before. I was gonna ask you that because look, I follow you on social media and thank you for responding to me right away because I don't usually approach people. Um, I like to go through the right channels and everything, but I find it amazing. Um, you know, your social media is great and I love, love watching it, but yes, your life has changed. Like from the minute the series dropped, how are you handling that, Robert? Um, I think with a lot of grace. <laughs> Um, I, I'm trying to tell myself it hasn't changed. I mean, you do feel this like a little bit of a burden to like always perform. Like I'm always thinking like, oh my gosh, what a, what funny thing am I going to post next? Like, how can I be any more self-deprecating? Luckily that well is deep, but <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm having fun with it though. I, I said to myself at the beginning of this whole thing, if I'm going to do it, then let's really do it. Yeah. And, you know, Julia has this incredible story and I did not, you know, we are so close. Like I'm a part of every aspect of her life. And I yes. said, I'm going to also tell a little bit of my own and maybe it'll connect in a different way to other people. And the messages I've gotten on my end have been incredible. So I, I think that there's a lot of love for the show. So that's awesome. Well, there's no question. And look, yes, it's Julia's story, her family, you know, we love it, but Let's face it, dude, you are a breakout star on this show. When I was telling my friends that I'm gonna be talking to Robert, they were like so excited for me because they all love you. We all love you. And we, yes, we have all connected with you. And what I love though so much is that, as you just said, if I'm gonna do it, I'm all in. I'm not just half-assed, you know? You really did open your life to us, Robert, not just the stuff that you do with Julia, your personal life, how scary was that or or was it not you just like let go and i'm gonna do this um it, it at the beginning it was scary i mean the decision to do it is what took a long time you know there was a lot of like no 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 but then finally i was like listen enough cut the bullshit you know yeah. if we're gonna do it we're gonna do it let's not waste our time so mm. uh, once i decided to do it and move forward that was the decision so it wasn't I, I, I grew up performing, you know, I was always like the little kid in Texas doing uh, the music theater at the church and, and going to summer camp in Dallas and hoping to get that great part in Little Abner. Right. Um, like, you know, the idea of like, not that it was a performance, because of course it wasn't, but my, I, I live my life a little bit as a performance. And so um, it came maybe too naturally. I don't know. <laughs> Well, you wear it well, my friend, you wear it well. Now, look, we're all very, well, I'm extremely impressed with what Julia has done, um, oh you know, since she left the community and what she has done just as a businesswoman is totally incredible for me. And by the way, if you guys have an opening in the company, I'm happy to move to New York and, and work like with you guys. Oh, I'm so impressed, so impressed. I can't even start to tell you. But I want to know, first of all, how did you meet Julia? How did you guys connect? And what is the most important thing that you have learned from her? Oh, so many good things. Okay, so the way we first met, I remember it like it was yesterday because I was in this uh, kind of old Italian hotel in Bologna, Italy. We were, I was working at La Perla at the time and in walk this like perfectly dressed, raven haired goddess, right? In these like nine inch heels. And so like every little gay flutter in me started to like have wings, you know, and just like my, so I said, I've got to know this person. So I didn't, it's a global company. I didn't, then she was American and we immediately connected. So I went over, I like said, I'm, I'm Rob, it's so nice to meet you. I love your dress, or your blazer. I think I, she was wearing a Dior suit. I remember it was this like classic Dior black. Of course she was. Yeah. 
Um, and from then I was hooked, but she wasn't hooked yet. So I was hooked. I knew I was like 100% into it. Um, then like fast forward two weeks, she comes to New York we, we, she's now, she's the creative director of La Perla. And so we're walking her through, I think we're giving a, a, a store tour. And then we had a big photo shoot with Harper's Bazaar. And at the time I, I was doing PR and marketing for the brand. Right. And after the, after the, uh, photo shoot with Harper's Bazaar, I came up to her because I experienced a little issue with, with my boss. Uh, I, it was Rihanna and we were trying to dress her for the Grammys and they said, yes, make us a dress. And my boss said, no, we're not able to do it. And I was like, are you crazy? <laughs> what? Like, you, Rihanna wants to dress, you make the dress. Hello. Like, enough is enough. Yeah. You make the dress. And so I went up to her and I was like, okay, I'm being a little naughty, naughty. And I'm tattle telling, telling tales out of school. But I said, listen, you know, Rihanna wants you to make her a dress. And someone's got to tell you. And, you know, long story short, two days later, my boss was gone and I was in his role. <laughs> Wow, amazing story. And yeah. then and then yes, you work with this dynamo of a woman. Exactly. And I think when you're in PR and you're doing marketing too, like you're you're working so closely. Like my role has always been how can I execute her vision? She's got an artistic vision, she's got a business goal, she's got some type of thing she wants to accomplish. It's always been my role. Okay, what little pieces need to go into place to make it all happen? Yeah. So when you're in that role, you become very close because it's you know my job to support you know what she wants to do. And so over time we just became closer and closer and closer. And we started doing, you know, fun personal things where maybe it was tuk tuks through India or you know, going to Greece together for the weekend or whatever it was, and just over time we became bosom buddies yeah yeah and honestly um yeah and like i said earlier you're you're part of the family i mean you guys you travel like as we see in the series but you know you spend so much time with her kids um and you know look but sheva miriam and they have a very heavy pre presence on social media as well of course you know um i, I honestly think at, like social media is a is a job in its own like oh what you know, how, how do you even keep up with that? Keep your, your real job. And I always just find that so fascinating. Well, that's, um, I really do have a full-time job overseeing, you know, the operations of 48 different agencies. Yes. So my eye is definitely on that ball. But then I was saying to Bacheva this weekend, I was like, oh my God, this TikTok thing is a full-time job. Like I gotta have another idea. And she's like, yes, hello. And of course, that's what our talent goes through every day, right? Because they've constantly got to be creative. They constantly have to have a voice and a vision and, and put that out for the world to see. Yeah. So um, I'm, I'm dipping my toe into that pool. But it's, it's hard to keep everything, all the balls in the air. But that's part of it, I think. See, like I said, you need an assistant. So I'm, I'm you know, happy to help you there, Robert. Yeah. <laughs> Come on down. Okay. As soon as I can get these borders open and everything, I'm coming. I can't wait to get back to New York. I can't even tell you. Um, you know, th this show was shot last year. It's been now a year since everything, you know, we watch it now, but you guys did this almost a year ago. Um, are you open to it? Well, everyone's talking like, wow, you should have your own breakout series. Like, would you even be open to that? Or would you, you know, I hope we see another series with Julia and all of you guys. I mean, I would love to continue seeing just, you know, not even so much her, her plight beforehand. Now we know like she's moved on and she's got a million stories to tell with all of you. Oh my gosh, the woman is an endless well of stories. It's amazing. I mean, you what we've just scratched the surface and yeah. I think there's so much more of that beautiful story to tell. But, you know, not, not only the past, as you said, but the future and like what she's building and, you know, that drive, you asked me if, if I had any lesson to, that I've learned from Julia. And the lesson that I've learned from Julia is uh, there is nothing more powerful than will. You know, your will and that drive to achieve something is stronger than it. You can be the smartest person on earth. You can have everything you want. If you don't have that passion, that drive to just bulldoze things through, I mean, that's what it takes in today's world. You have a million people telling you no, telling you you can't do it or why, you know, why it's not yeah. going to work. And, you know, what I've learned and tried to take away, although I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't have my degree yet, uh, is, is how to just push through it and have that like powerful sense and presence. Yeah, it's amazing. And, you know, like you were struggling, you know, you, there's a lot of fun things that you do in the show, obviously. And then there's like, we, like I said, a lot of personal and the whole, you know, meeting of your birth mom. Wow. Like that's a lot of courage. And I think from watching you in this show, I would think, you can tell me if I'm wrong or not, 
Um, you have inspired a lot of people out there, not just like in the gay community or whatever, just in general. I want to know what kind of reactions or personal, you know, not too far, I mean, you know, emails and things that you're getting from people that have really just touched your heart because you're so open on this show. It, that was my hope. My hope was that I would engender some, some type of, you know, personal response from people. And what has really shocked me is just the number of people who kind of share that same story, who it's, it's not something that you talk about as a, as an adopted person or, or whatever, like, you know, what, whatever kind of your origin story is, it's not a part of our like daily conversation with our friends, with our people. And, and so many people, I mean, thousands of people have messaged me saying, wow, I really see myself in your story or mine didn't go as great as yours did or mine went so much better than yours did or, you know, I now I have this expanded family or now my parents don't talk to me. You know, like everyone has their own trajectory, but it's just been amazing to hear something that you never really hear from people. Right, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, I-, I You I don't get it. it. Yeah, I, I just, yeah, it, it just, you're, you're just really totally an inspiration. And I, I am just so thrilled that you were able to take the time to talk with me today because I know you are a busy guy and you just came back from Europe and that must have been an amazing trip. It looked like it. <laughs> so much fun, other than my, my luggage was lost on the first flight over and was not returned to me until the night before, but I got to go shopping. So there you go. I was just going to say, I don't think I have to worry about you, my friend. I really don't. Well, thank you so much for your time today. I really, truly appreciate it. I'm going to get this up there to post immediately. And uh, I really do hope that I can meet you and Julia in person at some point, because you guys are just wonderful and great inspirations. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you, Bonnie. You're welcome. Say hi to Julia for me, okay? <laughs> I will. Okay, bye. bye. Thank you. Thanks, bye -bye. Bonnie. Thanks, oh, you're Robert. welcome. Thanks, bye. Jackie. Okay. <laughs> Take care. Bye, everybody. <laughs>